right before I went on your podcast, I was uh, guesting on Ron Beat Young's Hustle Share. And he did <laughs> ask me about my hustle. And it's so funny because I was telling him the story of like how I used to host for so little. I hosted mga uh, birthday parties. I hosted uh, kids' parties, Halloween parties, Christmas parties. I did some X deals. I, I wouldn't get paid or would get paid so little for mga modeling gigs and things like that. I used to write for free. And I guess the, the whole hustle started when I was 17 years old. I was studying in UP Diliman and my family didn't really have money anymore to pay for my schooling which tells a lot about what kind of financial situation yeah. we were in. If they couldn't pay for UP, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. hard. But but fine arts is an expensive yeah. uh, course because there are a lot of people need to But anyway, I was 17 years old and I had to apply for a job. So I was working for an offshore company, in a BPO company, as a copywriter. And I would have my shift from 12 midnight to 9 a.m. and I'd be working for this company abroad for a furniture company and then I would go to school yung first class ko sa AS sa Diliman was 10.30 a.m. so you know I would just back and forth that was the kind of life that I lived and Eventually, to make the long story short, I got really tired of working in the BPO industry. So I had the opportunity to join this contest in TV and ended up winning that contest. And I was on TV already. But that wasn't the end of it. Like I was in TV for a year and a half. And then I got kicked out of that job. And then I was jobless for two years. So wow. in those two years, I had to hustle it out by hosting live events, by posting on social media when that wasn't a thing just just yet by singing for oh, yabang pa dati when you post when you create content may yabang ka pa anyway sir uh, yeah so it wasn't as normal as it is now like you can do vlogs and do house tours kahit na normal na tao pa lang and it would be accepted because socially that's the kind of society that we live in yeah. but yeah I had to hustle it out and really work hard and I I remember just having to really work and humble God really humbled me because I was working in TV but nagjiji pa rin ako kailangan ko pa rin <laughs> minsan ang ginagawa ko sasabihin ko I used to lie I would say na oh hindi kasi nasa kotse yung ah, nasa kasa yung kotse okay lang ba kung may service pag out of town na events ganyan um, I used to I used to have to ride a bus from QC to Alabang because I had a hosting gig in wow. Alabang and there was this one time where I was just so late my client was so angry because I was stuck in traffic and mahirap kumuha ng bus from QC to Alabang. So I was really yeah. late for that. And so many other experiences like that. Or lagi ako naka-backpack kasi when you're working in, in, in showbiz, right, you have to be in your high heels and nice yeah. clothes and things like that. I had to hide my high heels and my nice clothes in the backpack. So naka-backpack ako, naka-shorts ako, naka-t-shirt ako, tapos magkukommute ako papunta sa work. And, you know, it was it was like, that kind of struggle for maybe three or four years before I finally found the break in radio and had a normal, regular job there. And, you know, my life kind of started becoming more and more systematic and better. So that's that's the tip of the iceberg with a hustle, but it'll take so much of your time if I tell you everything that I had to go through to get where I am today, by God's grace. <laughs> the J. Paul Hernandez Podcast. Listen to the full episode on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all major podcast platforms.